Hello everyone, my name is Rafiet and thank you for clicking to watch this video. If this is your first time of stopping by, you're welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, you're also welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious pot of vegetable soup, also known as a furry roux, and it's very easy to make, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off by boiling the meat and for the meat, I'm going to be using assorted beef. You can use any other kind of meat. And in addition to that, I have stock fish. I've soaked the stock fish in hot water. Always make sure to soak your stock fish because they come very hard and you don't want them to be hard in the food. So I'm going to transfer the meat, the stock fish, some onions, some seasoning powder, and of course some salt into a pot and start cooking. At this point, you do not need to add any water because you want the meat and the stock fish to release their original juices first before adding any water after that go ahead and add some water and cook until tender so depending on the kind of meat you are using if you're using let's say chicken you would have to boil the stock fish first before adding the chicken since chicken is soft and for the pepper mix for this soup i'm going to be using three different kinds of peppers and honestly you do not need to add tomatoes at all it's totally optional and the first type of pepper I have here is the bell pepper, the tatashi. And the second type I have shombo, also known as cayenne pepper. And of course some scotch bonnets for that heat. And the first thing I like to do for the pepper is to remove the seed. For at least the cayenne pepper, the shombo. I like to remove the seeds first before using them. So this is optional. You can decide not to do it or go ahead and remove the seeds. But... When cooking, when I'm, whenever I'm cooking and I'm using this particular kind of pepper, I always like to remove the seeds, but it's optional. And I do this only for cayenne pepper, that's shombo, and bell pepper. I don't do this for scotch bonnets because there is no need. So I'm going to repeat the same process for the bell pepper. I'm going to take out the seeds carefully, then use the fleshy part of the pepper. And at this point, the pepper might seem like a lot, but trust me, it's not because the bell pepper and the cayenne pepper, they are not spicy at all, okay? The only spicy pepper I'm using are the scotch bonnets, that's the atarado. Those are the ones that are spicy, but this particular one, that's um, bell pepper and the shombo, they are not spicy at all. Now, after removing the seeds, go ahead and rinse thoroughly, then transfer to a blender. Now, there are two ways to blend. You can decide to blend to be very smooth. And when you want to achieve a smooth consistency, you should use a blender to achieve that. But in a case where you don't want a smooth consistency, you don't need to use a blender. Or you can use a blender, but don't allow the blender to do the job to the end now the second option is to use a food processor to blend roughly okay so it's based on choice but most people prefer roughly blended peppers for their f 4 Rero. it's actually based on choice so what i did was for the sake of this video i showed both methods so you can so you can easily decide which method you prefer but for the sake of this video i did both and i ended up using both in the soup so I'm going to go ahead and debone the fish as well. You can use any kind of smoked fish or skip it entirely. It's absolutely optional. So this is smoked manla. Manla is called hick in English and it's really nice in a furry roll and other soups. So I'm just going to take out the bones and after taking the bone out, I'm going to wash thoroughly. Make sure you wash your fish thoroughly because they have been exposed to all sorts of conditions, especially in the markets where we buy them from. So... Let's go ahead and make this soup properly. So I'm going to start off by heating some vegetable oil and to the hot vegetable oil, I'm going to add some already diced onions. In order to get that native, amazing flavor that our Nigerian soups usually have, I'm going to be adding some iru, also known as dadawa and also known as locust beans in English. So I'm going to add some of that into the soup and I'm going to stir until all the amazing flavor gets released don't forget i'm going to put um all the ingredients and their measurements in the box below so do check that out and please if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point please do so there are a lot of amazing videos that you would love to watch so i just added the pepper mix as like i said earlier i actually combined both the one i processed using the food processor and the one from the blender and i'm going to stir everything together making sure that all the ingredients are well combined and after that i'm going to allow this for about 
five minutes on medium heat since the pepper mix doesn't contain a lot of water so it's not going to take so much time for the liquid to dry up so i'm going to cover this and allow for five minutes on medium heat and after about five minutes you should have something that looks like this bubbling and hot <laughs> so now i'm just going to go ahead and add some seasoning powder so i'm keeping it really mild because remember the meat has already been seasoned so i'm keeping it very mild so i added some seasoning powder some salt and some crayfish you don't need to add a lot of spices to your for you generally um most nigerian soups don't require certain spices like thyme curry rosemary no you don't require all those okay keep it really simple if you want to achieve that original nigerian taste so i added the cooked meat and the thoroughly washed smoked fish i'm going to stir everything together making sure that the sauce has gotten to every corner of the meat and fish <laughs> so um, after stirring this you should have a well combined um, pot of soup okay it's not soup yet it's a well combined soup that is almost ready so stir this continuously and after stirring this you're going to allow this for about three minutes so that the sauce can penetrate the meat properly and feel free to use any kind of meat you want to that's fine for vegetables i'm going to be using the vegetable that we nigerians call green <laughs> so it's popularly called green in nigeria and it's also called a four so that's where the soup got its name from so i'm just going to remove the vegetable from the stem like i said earlier all the details you need will be in the box below so don't worry about it and if you want to recreate this recipe feel free to go through the description box below to get all the details and if you do not have a four vegetable where you are or you cannot you don't have access to get this particular kind of vegetable another vegetable that does really well in this soup is spinach so you can easily replace with spinach i like um processing the vegetable at home myself so that i can be very sure that i've gotten rid of all the dirt so i'm going to sprinkle some salt and i'm going to add some water and i'm going to wash thoroughly because in the market where we buy these ingredients they've been exposed to all sorts of conditions imagine harvesting them from the farm bring them to the market and dividing them into different sizes all those processes they are going to be exposed to dirt a lot so i always make sure to wash this thoroughly and it's always better to wash before slicing the vegetable because that way you won't lose a lot of nutrients so wash before slicing that way it's you know better you won't lose a lot of the vegetable and you won't lose a lot of nutrients so after taking the vegetable out of the water you are supposed to wash repeatedly so i just want to show you the amount of sand that is in this vegetable so this is why you have to wash repeatedly just take a look at that so please when you're washing your vegetables take your time and do it you don't want to be eating sand <laughs> when you're enjoying your food when you're supposed to be enjoying your food so i'm going to repeat this process make sure to wash the vegetable properly you can also blanch the vegetable if you want but that is optional after washing the vegetables i'm going to go ahead and slice them into medium sizes you can add scent leaves as well it's optional but it gives a nice flavor i don't always add scent leaves sometimes i do sometimes i don't but this particular vegetable is the standard vegetable used to make f for real and if you decide to use spinach just repeat the same process any vegetable or any other vegetable you want to add repeat the same process and after that i'm going to go ahead and add the vegetable into the soup add as much as you can handle i mean it's vegetable soup at the end of the day you don't have to you know um, not add a lot of vegetables add as much as you can as much as you can handle okay one thing with vegetable is that once they are exposed to heat to steam they're just going to reduce in quantity so don't worry about adding so much so um after adding the vegetables i'm going to stir this thoroughly making sure that everything is well combined and at this point you are almost done with the cooking you don't want to use high heat at this point make sure you're using medium heat in fact all through the process of cooking use medium heat 
one thing with vegetable is that when they are exposed to high heat they lose their flavor easily so after stirring i covered this for about two minutes on low heat and this is what we have so so delicious and very easy to make one thing i love about this soup is that you can pair it with any kind of swallow you can even pair it with rice and i've heard some people pair it with bread as well so it's a very versatile soup and it's so easy to make using very basic ingredients i paired mine with oat swallow and it was very delicious thank you so much for watching this video thank you for coming this far and don't forget to go through my channel for more amazing videos bye